What do I got here? I've got an iron guy. Iron guy? I am iron guy. This is an opportunity before I call the client to say, hey, our Patreon is not just some lame ass Patreon where there's no effort put into it. It's edited videos designed to help you learn all the concepts in League of Legends without paying an arm and a leg for my personal coaching. We work on that every single month um, to kind of expand on the project and make it better and better and better. So if you haven't looked at that, patreon.com slash niece university. Um, like I said, we put a lot of work into that thing. So you really should check it out. It's good value. Um, and yeah, you're missing out if you haven't already. Okay. What, how long have you been playing though? Uh, I've been playing since last August. So just under a year. So you're very new. So that's nothing to be ashamed of, dude. So <clears throat> first things first, when you play League of Legends and you're playing top and you're learning, always get out into the bush and be ready to f people up level one. Okay. Don't just stand at tower. This is noob shit. Go all the way out. Get to this bush. It's... So let me draw it out for you. Stand here. If at okay. any point you see anybody, like uh, if they're like right in front of you, like the forward mm. part of the bush, fuck them up. Fight them. EM, punch them a bit. See where it goes. Learn your limits. Right. Um, <clears throat> but your goal is to try to sneak right to this position and hope they face check you. If they face check okay. you, you could just get a huge lead early. This game, believe it or not, even at my level, I'm not just bullshitting you, is about the, the HP early. So like, right. if you get a couple lead or a couple autos in a lead, you're going to mm -hmm. be pretty much ahead the entire lane phase. So Alawi specifically, the way this works is she's got a range that's about this much. Mm -hmm. And she is a noob, she's a noob test. And by a noob test, you see, you went 0 oh, and 6 versus her. Yeah. She's a noob test because you just don't know what the fuck you're doing versus her yet. Mm -hmm. She's going to throw these skill shots out like this. Okay? Your job as a noob is always visualize the range of enemy champions. Yeah. Imagine that there's a big... I always call them evil circles. It's an evil circle here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Your goal is to get very comfortable with walking near those those lines and wiggling just outside of those lines. Oh, right. I fucked that up. So you wiggle just outside of the line. If you're inside the line, your movement changes to this. A T, a T. I talk about this on my Patreon. A T and L, shit like that. Wherever they are, that's for the T. If Alawi's standing here, the T would look like that. If you're inside her zone, you need to move like that in advance. Right. It's based on wherever she stands. Mm -hmm. Understand? Understand. So, watch what's going to happen. You're going to get bonked a lot by Qs because you're standing inside of her range without trying to dodge anything. I already know. I've never seen the replay, but I just know how this goes. Mm -hmm. She's not even throwing abilities at you yet. It's a peaceful lane. There you go. She hits you with one ability. And this was actually this was actually goofier than I envisioned in my head. Yeah, this was even goofier. So <clears throat> that's honestly. That whole explanation, yes, it matters, but it doesn't matter in that spot because you... Okay, so what happened here? Let's back up again because I thought I knew what was going to happen, but it didn't happen at all. <laughs> so <clears throat> generally speaking, when you're new, you don't want to hit minions or fuck with them because you just don't know what you're doing yeah. yet. But yeah. as a rule of thumb, when you go into a lane... Let's draw this out. You both are hitting your minions. On the right, this represents mm -hmm. how much damage you've done to minions. And on the left, yeah. this represents how much damage she's done to minions. So watch closely. None of you touch the minions. None of you touch the minions. None of you touch the minions. None of you touch one auto. So you have autoed one time, but it wasn't to last hit a minion. Yeah. So one auto. That means your lane is pushing right now. Okay? Right. 
You've autoed, you've autoed, you've autoed. Your lane is pushing right now. It's pushing right now. It's pushing right now. You have the push. You get level two. She just queued the entire wave and she's level two. So right now, Alawi is starting to push. So Alawi is pushing now, okay? Right. See how the wave is in her favor? Yeah, her minions have more health even though uh, they're, they're So now they're you they're start they're fighting. fighting. Now watch how close this fight gets. But she's just pushing over you, okay? Yeah. It's going to come down to that mostly. See how she has the wave? All right, you start fighting. Now she has the wave at her back. Now obviously you didn't you didn't land the W. Which is whatever. But you're going to drag the trade out a little bit. See the minions? Yeah. They're hitting me. Right. So even though you're strong-ish early, you never establish lane control. And then you got into what I call just like an Ooga Booga fight. Right. right? You just like Ooga Booga. You're both bad. You're both new. And your abilities miss or they don't hit or whatever. Right. And then you slightly lose the fight. This is why... When you talk about League of Legends, you want to take yeah. fights that you definitely win. And as a newer player, you're allowed to set up fights that you definitely win. So if we back up, if you had autoed her from the brush maybe a couple times, if you had slightly grabbed the wave and started pushing it forward and then made an Ooga Booga fight, you probably win, even if you don't know what you're doing. Right. This is why the fundamentals are what I teach. <laughs> And for newer players, I'm showing you that like, yes, I see that you're trying to flash W and do all this cool shit, but realistically, just get the wave at your back first. Maybe try to cheat an auto from a bush and then do your dumbass fight and your dumbass fight will win. You'll win. <laughs> sounds like a plan. Yeah. Right? You'll win. And guess what? Your yeah. dumbass fight, you'll take more and more of those and they'll start becoming dumbass fights, like yeah. confident dumbass fights. Right. And then eventually your fights will become fights. Yeah. Where they're kind of dumb, but not really. And then eventually they'll just become landslides. Because you've had that, you've had, you've had a thousand dumbass fights and you've had about <laughs> 800 fights, right? So now yeah. these fights are fucking easy. I can win these fights all fucking day. I'm going to hit my W flash easy. I know exactly what I'm going to win. That's how you become like the videos and the clips you probably watch. Right. So your goal right now is mm. to simplify the game to let's establish a push. Let's try to get a lead from a, a, a cheese somewhere. Mm. Drop this shit ass teleport because you don't need it right now. It's out of your pay grade. All right. Just taking night and let's start snowballing lanes. So let's look at another lane real quick. So right here, look at the same situation. You didn't try to like, okay, to be fair, Darius cheesing from the bush might be dangerous. This matchup, you may want to go instead of Ignite. I'd probably just go Ignite, Lethal Tempo, because I'm cocky. But you could go um, Flash Ghost as well, so that he, he tries to run you down. That's his gimmick. Mm -hmm. So you want to just match it. But see how neither one of you are touching the wave? Right. Both of you are afraid to do anything? It was kind of cool, but then you Ooga booga Okay, you see the Ooga Booga? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> there was no trade there. Yeah, it's a conversation. Dude. League's a turn-based game, believe it or not. You know what the turns right. are based on? These fucking cooldowns here. Right. Take your turn and get out. Mm -hmm. You start you start acting out of turn. The minions, the minions skill check you, dude. Look, the minions are holding the rule books. See that? Yeah. They're like, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, you're not following the rules here. You see that? Watch. Yeah. These minions get pissed. Watch them. Hey, buddy, the fuck are you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy, look at these minions. Hey, buddy, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey. see him? Look at him. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, look at him. They're, they're, they're shaming. You, you ever watch the range creeps' hands? <laughs> they're shaming you. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> look at that. You're never going to think about minions the same again, are you? Look at him. Shame. No. Shame. So... The the key here is take your time with the trade. So like you take a trade, yeah. punch the guy a couple of times, get the fuck out. That's why I tell people touch the brush after a trade. 
It right. drops the minions aggro. They can't see you. They don't get you anymore. Right. No, that that I guess, especially level one, like I underestimated the uh, damage that the minions do, mm -hmm. and just uh, well, and that combined with Darius's bleed, it just Darius bleed plus conqueror will shit on you, and he beats a lot of melees. Versus Darius in particular, like you can beat him early if you run like ignite and like again maybe cheese him from the bush. And let your lethal tempo stack up or something. Um, right. But yeah, doing like an open trade on minions will never work with him. I mean, honestly, if it, just about any champion kites you through minions, you'll lose. Right. Maybe, maybe not with set, I guess. But like most champions will lose. So you shouldn't do it. It's bad fundamentals. With set, mm -hmm. you get away with some shit that you shouldn't because of the W and just how tanky set is early. But don't let that go to your head and break the rules of the game. That's what I'm trying to show you. Understand how the rules of the game work. Play within those rules first and then start like going, ooh, I can maybe push the boundary here a little bit. Let's look at maybe one more open. I like that you're not afraid to jump into ranked. Don't be afraid. Uh, you know, I... I play normal and I win pretty handedly. So, you know, it's like, oh, I got to go to rank. Like, that's the only way to improve. That's the only way to get the gold, right? So, <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It is. It's the only way to, you got to put yourself out there. I, I respect it. I respect it. The fearlessness is good. So, you see how you've never once cheesed any of the bushes in these? This is why yeah. I like to look at VODs. It's because right off the jump, see what I would do. So, imagine, let's imagine a scenario where you're in the bush and no one's here. Okay. So you're probably thinking, all right, Nice, I'm playing the bush. What the fuck do I do? No one shows up the lane. Well, I'll tell you. You're in low elo, so weird shit like this will happen. This should never happen. Whatever yeah. this is. This is this is a head scratcher. So a lot, normally what people think they're supposed to do, what would you think you were supposed to do, actually? Um, now that you know that your laner's not here based on the replay, what should you do, you think? Uh, my... Make a uh, somewhat non-educated guess would be to get to level two first. So right. That when he so does push. Come to lane. Right. You push. Yeah. And, you know, people think push for level up, but they also think because, well, I could get the wave under tower. Well, actually, in my opinion, it's yeah. better for your XP and it's better for your positioning to just last hit at the very last second. So you literally right. yeah. stare at these minions like this and let's see what you do with it so you're hitting them it's kind of the last hits yeah so this isn't that bad so why do we want to do this well because you're actually not going to be able to push that fast to get the wave under tower usually before yeah. your teammate or before your opponent gets back you can see it's Timo's coming back to lane so it's yeah. you actually will tax him more xp if you just last hit believe it or not if you tried to push he might be able to arrive here and catch the wave. You do more mm -hmm. damage to his wave if you just wait, which is yeah. just kind of a fun little fact. It doesn't seem like it would be the way that it is, but it is. Right. So you did the right thing accidentally here, and he shows up. Now, see, your mistake is you're not immediately zoning him like you should be. So body language-wise, you should just go right to here and say, what up, bitch? You can't go to the lane now because yeah. you were late. You had a, you had a, you, you know, you, the formation was at fucking zero six and yeah. you are here <laughs> in the wrong uniform, sir. Go fuck yourself. So you make yeah. him go around. He gets punished for that. Right. But see, he gets to walk up. You should have been here because if you could keep him here, he gets no XP. Right. You would say, Nice, but what about my gold? Doesn't matter. You get XP, he doesn't. That's fine trade. Yeah. So you want to walk him off of the wave, and this is why stuff like Flash Ghost is OP. Because then you could literally just eat Ghost and start beating on him all the way back. And you went Grasp, you should go Lethal Tempo here. Okay. All right. Now that I've given you some stuff to think about, let's get into a game or two.